Hello, welcome to Bob Bob. We're going to be playing a game that is uh, free on Steam. It's going to be more of a story game, so if you're very mechanically hungry like me, it's not necessarily the most exciting game for you, but I still enjoyed it, and I didn't see a whole lot on it. So I thought I would highlight this game and how it works and where a lot of the stuff is at in case you miss it. And just to give it some extra love, uh, this was developed by basically by one person, so even though it's a very short game, sitting at 30 minutes, should you just cram through everything super fast, uh, but if you want to do every combat encounter, it's like 70-ish minutes. Still free, good content, and it can be quite entertaining. It got some nice chuckles out of me uh, with some of its humor, and I just kind of like spam through uh, the, the chat, so there's probably more to come. Now, I like in this mode, an earlier post, RS is our mana system for how this game works. You do regenerate it on your own with this character, so keep that in mind. Uh, this just makes it so I don't take a whole lot of damage ever. Uh, we're just going to like attack. Ooh, there we go. If you put your mouse over a character, it doesn't let you uh, A W S D through them. Keep that in mind. Okay. Break this guy's shield you have to do break and then he can't cast it again uh but getting back into it you can't move through that your curse is over so you can just highlight your your, your curse off of your attack i can use this but if i'm pressing a wsd it's not doing anything but now it is okay well we're just going to attack them anyways and move my cursor back over and describes what it does. And also shows the, the turn order as well, which I think is quite nice. Uh, I'm just going to do repost again, because this allows me to attack twice. So the extra heal, obviously nice. The extra defense, obviously nice. And I effectively get more attacks in. Works very well uh, for me. I want to attack the other guy, but this should work. He did the defensive option. We'll just take out a unit. Oh no, we took one damage. Uh, we have to do this, otherwise it'll do zero damage. Okay. Yeah, this should be enough. Alright, so... Sweet art in this game. <laughs> By the way. Now... One of the things you'll notice is you leveled up there from level 10 to level 11. Every character will basically level up after every boss fight. You'll get new abilities, and you will get some extra stat upgrades as well. Now, if you do every combat encounter, you might be able to get one extra level, but with it being 400 XP per level roughly, and you only getting 15 to 18, at least for the first fights, extra fights that you can do, you might get an extra level. If it was 10 XP and 400, 400, you'd have to do 40 fights, and there's just not that many. You can't do any random encounters for reasons you'll see in the future here. But it does mean at every level up, you will go into a new area because you beat a boss, and the game mechanics will change just enough to it to be uh, entertaining. So you can go through, utilize the new mechanics. You just have like a little toy. And with each area, there's upgrades for your equipment as well for your characters. So you want to keep an eye out for those chests. I'll be sure to point them out because uh, some of them are pretty well hidden. Uh, I almost missed them in my first playthrough. And then second playthrough, I went through, but the recording didn't go quite as well for this. The volume was up super high, so hopefully it's balanced. Uh, you can go into your settings and reduce the master volume or each individual volume if you want. Their settings in this game pretty basic. You can't do quite the full screen here, so that's why you see that top bar if I didn't edit it out. And yeah, it should be pretty simple from here. Uh, we're about to see some pretty sweet character art coming up. We'll have our second character here, who's going to be a little bit different than our other character. No character operates in the same way which makes combat interesting and you have to think about each person's turns of course they're preset in how they operate but with the game being as short as it is you wouldn't have a lot of time to customize who's what's going to be what so everyone starting out with this specialization is quite nice 
Now, I did say uh, keep an eye out for chests here. If you do see them, uh, you know, sh we'll, 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 we'll show you in just a moment. But the main fight mechanic here is you have to walk up and hit the person, like interact with them, give them a good smooch, and then you go into a combat. So you have to be overlapping. It's not like in Pokemon where they have to just see you. Uh, okay, yep. Uh, uh, WASD to move. See, I'm standing over here. They're not interacting. I have to bump into them. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this chest. We're going to get a nice upgrade there. If we go here. Now there is a shortcut you can do. This rock over here, if you're on the other side, you can hop over and just do the loop again. Which is pretty interesting. There is no way for me to get this chest. I can't move down here, as you can see a change, so I have to walk in and interact with them. So what you do with this is you do Caltraps. Awesome animation. I think it's a little weird for what it's doing. It's usually like the little spikes. Maybe I'll edit something in. what cow trips are uh, just think of it like little metal spikes but still very cool animation here we'll see that they have no rs but we can only use them once it lasts for five turns so we'll go ahead and do a poison dart here i'm gonna take some extra damage uh, skills we'll go ahead and break this okay the, that little running man thing means they're gonna be dodging everything we'll poison this person so we'll just go ahead and double damage elsewhere I'll wait a turn. Wait for them to get super low. Try taking some poison. That two is gonna reset to a five. Oh, to a four. There we go. This is just gonna guarantee that they die because they'll take three damage. There we go. First attack. We'll full heal at the end of every fight, get all of our resources back and everything. So there's no need to worry. So if we go into equipment by hitting escape, we'll see. Ring of Calm, we're not going to put it into them. She's pretty tanky the way it is and has a built-in heal. So Ring of Calm gives them an extra defense, a padded, and then that's an extra better weapon as well. We're not going to do this encounter. So there's no need to. Alright, if I do the... Uh, Status, 497, 505 for, for level up. There's no way we're going to be getting there with what we can add two encounters for 36. And you don't have to get these weapons that I'm getting in armor. I just want to highlight where they are in case you want to know. Uh, so we'll start here. Use some boss fights. It might be interesting to do a challenge run to see how well that works. I'm just going to start with a post. Try and get some extra damage. If you hit the mercenary, the top left guy, yeah, the guy that just attacked, he tends to heal right away. No repost from there because of how the how the character operates. There we go. Awesome crit, by the way. There. He's a pretty good character in this game. Uh, we'll attack. I thought about using a poison, but both of these should just kill them anyways. There's an option to where I could consider doing a poison dart, hoping that the tick is enough to do it, but I just figured double attacking here is going to be the most consistent way to get through this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the crit! Okay, we got the hybrid sword, and there's going to be some white armor that we'll be able to get all their upgrades and then we'll be on our way so skills cow traps now by hitting them here he will always oh he doesn't always heal okay well generally he heals if he's been injured uh, so we'll go ahead and do that and then the other guy does guard so it's pretty much a setup turn there's an argument for me doing repose But I didn't want to do it if he wasn't going to attack, right? There's no... Oh, I should have done a poison. See that? It's hard to talk in-game at the same time. All right. 
He won't be able to do the guard attack for another two. We'll do the poison because it's early on to his health pool. You know, our post loses some value because it's 50 50 on who he attacks. There we go. He's guaranteed to die because of the poison. There we go. Two equipment here hybrid sword, plate armor. Now there's another equipment over here. Oh yeah, that's throwing a fury for an extra attack, and there's no way to move up through there. Use that guy look cool. Now if you hit interact with this rock, you can jump over and you'll just go over to the other side. You cannot go through the other side because of how it works. Sadly. Okay, so here, no more chest. We walk up to this spot by the rubble and we start this fight. <clears throat> so if you're not ready, go. It's a speak up or forever hold your peace. Now, this is our first boss fight here on Call for Help. It's just going to be those two. 2v2 battles here. Who will win the bad guys or protagonist coon? Who could tell? Okay, so this. Super duper good. We go through here. Uh, we'll just get the hitman. All right, gonna be super evasive. Skills will still hit here, but uh, normal attacks will not. So I'm just gonna hit the swiper instead. There's an argument to do a repost. Poison over here so that they get constantly ticked here as well because it's going to take a while to beat them because they're a boss. There we go, I just went for the crit to try and get them down. That little whip means they're going to be draining stuff, resources out of me. At least I'm pretty sure that that's what it means. And we just hit them to death. We saw no extra healing or anything else needed. Being able to consistently do damage here. 500 XP here. And we can see that each character has learned a new ability. So everything all in good. Now we're going to get our next character here. Our last one that we'll ever unlock. Unless you count the damsel in distress that we're trying to save at the end. And this guy is going to be quite a bit different than the other two. It does not regenerate his resources, but is going to be amazing. I kind of like the cheesy mustache that he has. Every time you see a wizard, it's like an old dude with a big beard and whatnot. So this is breaking some stereotypes, which is which is nice. I also appreciate. Uh, so this is made through RPG Maker, right? This is obviously an RPG. But there's some like classic usage of these emoticons that are being used like uh, Final Fantasy V. Mm -hmm. You see the little heart come up from the little pirate uh, lad who actually turns out to be a lady and the protagonist gets a little excited about that. Uh, if I remember right, like I said, I play for gameplay. I don't play for story, but that was early on in into it and I just kind of mashed the X button. In this case, it's the space button. I'm playing it to highlight this game if you really do like story play the game download it help the developer out i know this was made in like 2018 so it's not the newest of games but i did see the uh, a lot of people ask for lewd content <laughs> for how this game operates now last loading screen we saw a chest do you see it on this loading screen at all not from the scroll up right like two seconds ago this offhand surprise i i don't think it's great i honestly think that it's garbo um i'm just going to go with an attack oh gosh now i got a lot of mana to use i do not have a whole lot of 
resources. <laughs> they do not regenerate. Wanna hit him. The poison. They've got dodge. We'll hit here. And we'll do this again. Again, awesome animation. And I've played a decent number of RPG Maker games, and I have not seen that. I've recognized a lot of the, the sound effects, and if you played them at all, you'll you'd be like, I know that sound effect. No. I'm just going to go for an attack. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we almost got a double. We'll get a double with the poison kick. No damage. They walked away. They understood who's the real winner. No one beats protagonist Kun. All right. This is the second area. Now I'm going to reveal where the second chest was if you do not see it already. It's right behind this pillar. Now you get a nice little item here there's not a whole lot you can do on this side i believe there's one chest yeah that you want so we count trips and two uh, we don't need to use that any of these abilities i think so we'll just go ahead and i think you have less hp I think I'm just gonna try and focus one person down. They're gonna do a less. Or they just have less defense. I could smoke bomb them to help keep them safe. There we go. Uh, but we can also just do this, and then this is just an auto one in the combat encounter. Poison dart. Definitely do this. And yeah, they should. And they do specify how much damage did to what. So we saw two to the actual HP pool. Ring of fate, by the way. This uh The immunity to silence is pretty good on them, but with how low their uh, overall evasion is, it's not good. Or their tankiness overall is pretty bad. So we, we can only go out through here. Get this chest. That's a mage staff. I'm waiting until we're forced into a combat encounter to upgrade. Uh, so I just don't have to reduce menuing effectively. Okay, uh, so because he runs out of resources, I like putting the Cyclops eye here. Okay, he uses, yeah. There's nothing else here. So the Mage Staff is a pretty big improvement, and then the armor here. <laughs> He's up to a whole two armor. We could upgrade it to a three, but you'll see why I go with the Cyclops eye here in a moment. There's just so many targets that I think, on average, if we say they're all random, that'll hit one. There we go. They heal. Ooh, there we go. Oh, and it crits. Yas! Make 
make everything nice and tanky. I was tempted to fireball here, but yeah, the repost not doing a whole lot. Okay, skills, poison dart. We didn't get a whole lot of value out of that last one. There we go. I think I'll use our new item here soon. We're so low. We're just gonna go. We only get one use here, but. Gone. Don't have to deal with them. Okay, they're poised, so. Oh, they're gonna triple hit. In that case, we'll just heal. Fairy fire. They're down when we full HP. There's no more chests to get. You know, like last time, there's only one spot you can walk up. This will start the fight, so if you don't have your items, take it now. Now, don't waste your poison on the boss as uh, he will make him just immune to poison. So, no point in doing that. Heal for 12, immune to poison. Make them tick. Can dodge a sword, but can't dodge a fireball. Gotta get the poison stacks on everyone that I can. I will just repose to heal. So why not? Uh, I'm thinking everyone's pretty healthy. We'll just keep pumping up the damage. Successfully dodged. Might not do any damage this fight uh, because of the weapon they have. It's half only half human. So I've seen some like inconsistencies with how that operates. So we just fairy fire on this guy. Stun him. 12 damage. I'll just reduce this. Yeah, we'll just go for a crit. We'll crit fish. Notice this is the only one I have. Big burst of damage here. Critfish. Yeah, let's go. 500 XP. We're all level 13. Uh, and the last level up will be after beating the final boss. So this is going to be the final area we'll be going into. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of an intermediate period before then. There's going to be one fight, some more story, and then we'll get to the final area. It'll just be a forced combat encounter.
Well, we're sitting at 25 minutes right now, so like I said, not that long of a game. It might be a little bit faster at this point. And I've also been like stopping to talk. And We have to talk to her. I was distracted by the background. I was like, ooh. But no, you can't leave because of the, the hole in the ground. Looking like a fool. The hole in the ground. All right. So... I was hoping that I would go for a kill. Yeah, obviously doing that. I went for some greed. I had lost on this fight before, uh, but that might have been m more me being careless than anything. Gonna heal a little bit. Hopefully pump out some damage. Hopefully there's enough damage from that poison to take him out. And this is why I wanted to try and take out the opportunist right away. Okay. That should take him out. Maybe zero. Okay, I do. Poison didn't kill them, so we got them now. The defender doesn't do that much damage, so we're just going to save them for last. Silence does stop uh, everyone, by the way. Poison, so we have to take them out. Attack has lowered self. Oh, they're silenced. Yep, I was just letting the guard go down so that they would spend their turns there. Oh, I should have just, just done a recovery there. All right. Go. Poison dart, our last one. Right, like, no penalties there. So this is the one fight I was talking about. We're going to go into a little bit more of a story mode. And then after that, we will 
go ahead to the final area. And you have to do two fights there. That are forced and then the final boss. Now a lot of the other equipment wasn't necessary. But this equipment, pretty helpful. As the mages... I can't remember if it's the staff or armor. Uh, halves the cost of all of his spells. So he's going to be more useful there. Uh, and then there's just like extra stats amongst everyone. Extra stats among us. And yeah, then the game's going to be done after we beat the boss there. I won't say who it is or what it is or how it turns out. But decent story. Good music. I'll play the credits just because it shows us some nice music and the art style is pretty nice as well. Going through. Ding! That this story section was gonna be a little bit shorter. There's an option there. I've always just hit the same thing. If you played this game before, or you played it and did a different option, let me know if there's a different uh, outcome that happens. Like I said, free game, pretty fun. Good background. I like the little monsters in the background as well. Uh, if you've played any RPG game makes, RPG maker games before. You will notice some of these assets being used because they come with how it operates. But I think it's pretty well used. Uh, it's busy, but not like in a bad way. Like there's, there's stuff there. It's not as barren as you would necessarily expect. All right. So this is the final area here. Now we we'll have to take out those archers that the guy in the green, as you see him right there. So here, here we go. If you're looking for the chest in the scrolling screen, uh, there is not one. If you walk down over here, go to this iron chest. Not a fan of it being iron because of how the game's operated before. Uh, I do kind of like it though, because otherwise it would just blend in. Go. Like I said, not going to open up the menu until much later. And there you go. This is the last chest. That, oh, nope, 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 nope. A couple more chests. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to go here. Okay, we missed her. Really big stat improvement there. Crit chance goes from 25 to 45% chance. Pretty big there. Here. And it gives you a counter strike chance. Go uh, plus two. Has the cost. Yeah, I just get some more stats. Like more stats, more good. Uh, I missed her upgrade. Right here. That's the weapon. There's one more, I thought. Okay, well. Oh no, we already got the, the mantle. There we go. Also the zero defense. So, go ahead. Beat these guys up. I would have been taking out the archers first. Skills. Uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead. I don't think it necessarily matters. Boop. And you can see, like, man, it's no longer an issue. I'm going to trust my team. I 
trust it. I trust it. There we go. Damn. Just want to make sure he's guaranteed to go down. We go. It's usually better than recover as we block more. We do this. The poison. We could also stun. But I don't think we need to. Takes a bunch of damage. Less likely to hit stuff. Poison gets some. There we go. This is uninteractable. Last one. I always miss that one chest. I I should have thought about that beforehand. Uh, this one, you want to take the mage out first. I am going to fireball still, though. I don't think they're low enough for me to just pop them. In case they like do a heal spell or something. Yeah, because they just produce so much armor. I don't think it's going to help that much. I just want to make sure they're down. Yeah. I think that Cyclops Eye is a reference to possibly Castlevania. As in that game, the Cyclops do shoot lasers. Normally, they don't. Also, if you haven't seen the show Castlevania or played its games, do so. They're good. Crickfish? No. Didn't even need it. This is going to decrease their attack. That was relevant! Just to show what I'm doing now, let's go to status here. 268. So if we did, let's call it 30, 60, 90. This is like an extra 40 at the beginning. That's 150. We have to get 110 from the mid one. There's actually maybe a chance. There's actually maybe a chance we'll be able to get one. You uh, do not need it. This is the final battle. Make sure you get all the equipment. It's really helpful. Gets all sealed. There's the big bad. Shout out to fantasy names being so difficult to pronounce. Gaiamo Modesto. I think their name is. Or Zavanin. Herodon. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing these right. Not my strong suit, not my strong suit. Regardless, there's some beef here and uh, death it is. All right, take out the mage, like I said last time. So we're gonna go over to here, uh, get our turn order back. Whoop, super helpful here. Uh, repost, pretty good. We'll get some HP back. I'm gonna do some fireball to get some pressure onto the map to see how it all goes. Yeah. If there was a way for me to silence, I would have. Oh! I meant to do that. Okay. I went too fast. Alright, so we go here. That's the fireball. Oh, there's going to be more damage this turn because uh, two defensive options were being used. I also don't know if you just beat the boss right away if that ends the combat encounter or not. Oh, we're going to just smarter. Uh, let's 
stop the mage from casting spells. Look, look at everyone's magic shield. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Everyone being silenced. Not what you want to see. Yas, the crit. Oh, we're allowed to do stuff now. Oh, we're just going to choose recover. Their attack isn't that great. Okay. And now we kill the archer. Or Overwatch, I should say. Bastion gaming. Okay. Skills. They are silent. No point hitting them. Break that. There's fireball to do the AoE damage. Awesome. Skills. Stun. Post. Use their attack. What's their defense? Okay, they don't have poison on them. Okay, straight up attack. Gotta reduce everything else. Crit? No crit. No idea what they did just does, but uh, this is the best way to win the fight. There we go, and that is it. We hit level 14, but you get nothing from it because how that goes. And now because we are protagonist Kuhn, uh, we do not kill the bad guy. We want them to live and become better people. Uh, Apparently. And now they save the princess. Awesome art. An actually pronounceable name. Princess La. Love it. Simple enough for even I to pronounce it. Hello, FBI. Now, this is just going to be the end a little bit more of how the characters operate. Obviously, because everyone is just thrown together, they uh, aren't going to be sticking together. Uh, the assassin lady who's just kind of thrown into our party uh, leaves, as we do, as we do here. And mage is like, "Cool, we're done. I'm heading out." Yeet. And R2, uh, they get to talk, talk about the feelings and all that, which is great. Uh, I'm here to play video games, though, so. Not my, not my style, but if you really do enjoy this style of game, I highly, highly recommend this. Pretty fun. There's a, there's a lot more to the story. I was just kind of beelining it through to keep the video length down and just to highlight the game as well. If this is not your style, uh, thanks for sticking around this far. Uh, I'm surprised that I'm this entertaining. I did not realize there's an option there too, but... There you go. If you want to see what the other options are when you interact with the story, you'll have to play through it on your own. Super nice. Whoever made this game, uh, good job. Uh, I was sad that it didn't last as long as it did, but I'm glad that uh, it ended up getting made. It got posted on Steam here as well. Lovely music. Everything was done quite well. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to let the credits roll on their own. Like, subscribe, all that stuff if you really did enjoy it. If you don't, uh, obviously don't. Uh, don't don't post, post a hate comment, but you can obviously dislike the video. Uh, be nice in general. A good motto to go by. But if you do look at uh, like 
how this is all made, you look at this, it's like one guy under this. And there's some obviously some nice play testers here as well. But you'll see several people showing up multiple times throughout this credit scene. And there you go. There we have it. Take care.